It is a busy and potentially dangerous weekend weather-wise coast to coast. Let's bring in Eric Fisher, the chief meteorologist with our Boston station WBZ. Eric, let's start out in the Pacific Northwest where there's a big concern about thunderstorms. Uh, Jim, these are thunderstorms that are dry, meaning that they're still raining, but that rain evaporates before it reaches the ground. They still have the lightning, so red flag warnings out here. Much of Washington and Oregon east of the Cascades. Gusty winds with those storms, and of course, a lot of big heat and dry weather this summer so far. We've seen several of these fires burning in central and eastern Washington. Also, the Gulch Fire in Oregon. This is a fire, Jim, that was started by a lightning strike on Thursday. Nothing dry about what's going on in the southwest. Uh, no, this is a different type of thunderstorm. This rain is reaching the ground in earnest. Powerful area of low pressure that's down near the Baja Peninsula. So widespread flash flood watches are out here. Main concerns are for rapidly rising water. Mud and debris flows are possible. Some dangerous travel conditions. At times, this water reaching up to the chest of a lot of folks who have been out and about. So be very careful traveling here. Now across the continent, there is a tropical storm dancing off the coast of the Dominican Republic. What can you tell us? Busy times. Yes, tropical storm Bertha. It's not a big Bertha right now. 45 mile per hour sustained winds. It just passed Puerto Rico. It's going to brush the Dominican Republic and then tomorrow will be passing through the southeastern Bahamas where tropical storm warnings are up. As we track this into the early part of the week, Jim, this is the good news. It shoots the gap between Bermuda and the East Coast. It should bring limited impact to both. Got to keep your head on a swivel if you're watching the weather. Eric Fisher in Boston. Thank you.